How's it going today? Well, welcome to the John Sweeney Show. And today, I think I'll talk about the Facebook fact checkers. Ooh, that's right, the Facebook police, as they call them. Yep, that's right. They are the ones who basically turn around and put that grace the uh, cover over your uh Memmy, your memes and your your news stories that you post, and guess what? It's all automated. Yep, it goes by keywords on uh, the computers. They pick up a keyword within the program or the picture or the anything, and it flags it. Now, there's two ways that you can get uh, fact-checked on Facebook. One, someone will report you. And that's right, just one. And this is according to someone who works at Facebook. Okay? And they want to remain anonymous, of course, because they like their job. Well, they like the money. Let's face it, that's what they really like. But, uh, anyway. So, uh... Facebook will turn around and fact check your memmy, your memes, or oh, memmy, memmies, whatever they're called, uh, news stories and everything else. But did you notice that they always seem to go after conservatives, never a Democrat or an independent? And it's always, you know, they always uh, check your facts. Even. Uh, the well, basically they're fact checkers. So yeah, they're going to check your facts, but they always go after the, the conservatives. Never a Democrat. Never do you see Joe Biden. Look at Twitter. Joe Biden has not been censored once on a Twitter feed. President Trump. Well, that's a different story. He gets little messages put on his uh, posts every day. So, but getting back to the fact checkers, yeah, it's all automated. You don't really think that USA Today and Politico and them have a, hired a team of people to sit there and search through millions and millions of your status updates and your news stories uh, uh, going across the Facebook news feeds? No. They use the computer to catch keywords, or if someone reports you, reports the post as being fake or spammy, then they kick, they kick the computer in. The only time a human being touches it is after it has been fact-checked by their computers. And then they have to write up a little thing, well, this is mostly false, this is missing context, or what have you. Or this, the best is, I love when now the Facebook, the fact checkers are fact checking jokes. Yeah, jokes. You can put up a satire or a joke on it and they fact check it for context. Oh, is this real or not? I, believe it or not, I saw a gray screen over someone's post that says that 2021 will be better than 2020. And they fact check, saying missing context. Uh, never. I, I'm just dumbfounded. You know, Facebook doesn't want to be in the business of, you know, public uh, editing your uh, posts or everything and verifying everything. So they use third parties. Yeah, well, these third parties are all computerized, and like I said, they only get involved when. They have to write something to uh, justify their fact-checking computer. Now, remember this. Candace Owens was fact-checked by uh, one of their so-called fact-checkers, and they found out it, that everything she said was true. And she, she turned around and sued the fact-checker to uh, have it changed. And she won. Now, can you do it? Yeah, you can do it. It's a pain in the ass. 
I mean, you have to jump through 50 million hoops to try to contact the, uh, the fact checkers. And you got to go through all those screens to try to say that you want to dispute it. But there's really no easy way to dispute a fact checker. So you have to jump through all these little screens and find these little highlighted blue things that are in the, the fact check notes. And then once you do, then you can keep going on and on. And it's a whole process that 99% of the people just just say, get fed up and say to hell with it. So I just wanted you to know that these fact checkers are bogus. Yep, bogus. It's all computer. No person. That's why, why do you think you can never get in touch with Facebook? It's all computerized. Everything's computerized. There are no real people, well, not many real people that Facebook contacts. So, always remember, you can't win against them because they're big tech. And they control all the information in the world's internet. And what they say is what it is. Whether it's true or not, or whether it's missing context uh, of their own, where they don't give out all the facts. They only give you what their spin is on it. So just remember that next time you see something being fact-checked, because it might not necessarily mean that it's wrong, because I've seen posts that were true, fact-checked as false or misleading. And it was real true. Everything was true in it. And it was proven by even CNN of all sites that likes to make up news stories so just remember that just wanted to go over that today and um, i'll talk to you later and make sure to subscribe to my channel the sweeney show i gotta get up to 10 subscribers so i can get custom url so it'll be easier for you to find it on uh, rumble here so and i also changed my facebook uh, public profile page to include uh, the show's videos every day. And also it has a link on the, my Facebook page, John S Sweeney Jr. And uh, you'll find the link to my uh, show. And I'll update it as soon as I get a custom URL for it. So again, thanks for every, everyone. And please subscribe today. And like I said, you'll be able to follow me there on Facebook, Twitter, Parler, Instagram, everywhere. I'm getting this show up and off the ground, slowly but surely, on a shoestring budget, and I need your help. So please share and let everyone watch it, and please make sure you, when you go and you subscribe to my channel, rumble my videos. That's like a Facebook like, okay? That's their version, because obviously Facebook sues anyone who uses the word, the term like, because they seem to have trademarked the word like. I know, they tra they trademarked everything. You can't make a website with face in it or book in it or any kind of social media site that has those words. So, but that's it for today. Talk to you later. You have a good day. Bye.